Hi Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 28th to the 4th of October 2020 and we have just gone into Libra and into the autumn and in the calendar of the pagans and Wiccans it is also known as the Fall Equinox and the May Bon Festival that is the Harvest Festival I'm using the Pagan Ways and the Everyday Witch cards and the uh, Queen of the Moon Oracle cards as we've got two moons in October and the Angel Feather and the Answer of the Angel cards. Uh, thank you very much for all your likes and shares and I hope you will like this reading too. I'm getting into the mood for Halloween and the, there is a video on Libra energy. I hope you've seen that because Libra stands for harmony and peace and we are going into a gentler energy the energy has shifted and you can usually it's the ten of cups also the scales and the nine of cups have come out and justice has come out uh, lots of positive energy I see that you have the ten of cups and the nine of cups so there you are it is appeared again here in your reading and I did shuffle them very well I shuffle them after each reading okay so uh, on the two moons will be on one will be on the first of October and the other one will be on the 31st that is the Halloween celebrations and also known as Sam Hain celebrations okay so where there is two moons there will be one moon is a blue moon and that is on Halloween and for those that are pagans and wiccans you know that's the time that the veil between the spiritual and the supernatural is the thinnest and our ancestors are close to us they might just you might just feel that somebody is just patting you on your back or just a breeze of wind or you might just an, uh, uh, a feather of an angel might, might just fall from the sky from a bird but it resembles the angel it means that the angels have your back you do get a lot of beautiful messages only if you're more conscious of what is happening around you now we start off the first card with the death card which also represents Scorpio so here you are Leo um, Scorpio will be exceptional for you you could be meeting Scorpio but you are most probably will be in transmi transmission or transformation between now and in Scorpio because you've got the death card which represents Scorpio but the death card doesn't mean a real death it means an ending to a phase and going into a new phase you're no longer the caterpillar you are the butterfly and to top it all you've got happy families the ultimate happiness card the ten of cups you might be extending the family or you might be moving home expanding the house going living in a house instead of an apartment you might be getting a pet and you this could be a dog or a cat and as you can see we've got the cat here and we've got the uh, baby here you might be finding out in the next couple of weeks that you are pregnant if it isn't this week um, because I'm getting here Scorpio time we're going into Scorpio uh, on the 22nd or 23rd of October until from then uh, fr until then we are in Libra and then in Wednesday we have the rebirth so the word birth is in here so you've already got two cards saying birth okay new beginnings this is the judgment card in other decks also this card gives you a second chance 
Your wish is coming to fruition as you've got the Nine of Cups. She's just sitting there meditating and manifesting and visualizing in her mind's eye what she wishes, wants and what she's wishing for. It could be a, a new love, it could be a new job, or it could be going back to work after lockdown. You, if your company um, has gone uh, bankrupt, they might be starting up a, a new, a restart they call it. You might be wanting to go back to the same firm, um, but your wish is coming true. For the same, uh, in the same way, you might be wishing to get pregnant but she's taking her time to manifest and visualize. Your wish is coming true. You could also be meeting a Gemini as you've got the King of Swords. The King of Swords does represent Gemini, but don't forget it could also turn out to be a Libra. Um, and uh, you'll be meeting a Libra in Libra time <laughs> and or a, an Aquarius. You've been dreaming about something, it could be a house, it could be a job, it could be about a garden, anything like that. As you have the Seven of Cups, perhaps a new study, perhaps to enhance your wisdom as the swords stand for wisdom, justice, truth, clarity, um, new co uh, communication there could be a new communication if you haven't uh, communicated with family for a while because of, or you haven't seen anybody uh, of the family for a while as you've got the ten of cups so you are communicating that's this uh, perhaps there's been a family squabble but you have seek legal advice perhaps or advice from a social worker or an emotional uh, guide this could be a life coach what can I do how do I approach this or do I have to go and see an, an attorney or a lawyer so that I don't have to go to court with a family member family is important to me as blood is thicker than water It could be about somebody in the family that's selling a house or has left a house behind uh, because they might have immigrated or passed away and they left this situation to sell the house to you and now you might you've ha been squabbling because they've immigrated and they can't get here to sign the paper so they might give you power of attorney and the uh, advocate or lawyer is um, doing the business and guiding you okay you definitely have recognition for your wisdom and for your hard work. Um, somebody is grateful for you. Um, if you haven't had communication with family and friends because of an argument, I don't see the argument card here like the Five of Wands or the Five of Swords. Um, there will be new communication. I think it's just because of the COVID you haven't been able to connect with them because they might be too mature and don't know how to use the uh, computer or smartphone or they haven't got a computer or a smartphone and now you can phone them up again and you have organized with assistance somebody from an institution perhaps a health carer um, around them they have bought a smartphone or a little computer or tablet and now you can virtually see them remember the world is so small but yet so large you have oh you've i think you've uh, you've got somebody to help you you advised somebody and they organized it that somebody could legally go into the people's home so that you can connect and re-communicate you will receive news as you've got the ace of swords uh, so you've got victory definitely whatever it is if you did have ju ju judicial issues and you needed to see a lawyer um, about anything 
then you have victory. Like I said, you have recognition for your hard work. You've done your research, you've listened and uh, took an, taken advice or got advice to help you to get you through to get your victory. Uh, like I said, you could get new communications. Ace is a new start, so there will be new communications. And uh, I would say forgive and forget. Learn from it and carry on because blood is thicker than water. Let your heart speak. Let your emotions speak. Your wish is coming true. You could be meeting a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. They could be coming into your life but you could also start a new study. Perhaps you might start a study in law or something um, uh, for an institution or a municipality boom you or you had you you had to go away for to do this study and you're coming back because you've passed your exam you've got the recognition and the job that you wished for you've got the burgundy angel feather card invite a miracle well the miracle is going to happen the angels love receiving invitations to be part of your life. Ask and sh you shall receive. There you go. Now you've got number 12 and boundaries. Well, if there has been arguments in the family and you didn't speak to each other, there will be new beginnings. It will be sorted out. There will be victory. And like I said, learn from it. Forgive and learn set your boundaries and let them know what your boundaries are and know get to know what their boundaries are vice versa judging what you need and what you don't need allows you to place healthy boundaries you teach people how to treat you judge what is healthy and right for you with clarity and care simplify yes if you set boundaries then they know how to respect you and treat you and the angels say be assertive there you are you're holding the key in your own hand open the door to positivity and close the door to negativity thank you very much for watching please like and share stay safe and have a wonderful week